All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna start taking this thing apart. Gonna be going to a straight axle setup in the rear. And we'll see how it goes. We'll be sending out a couple of still pictures as we go. You know, doing the very what I did, the transformation. But I'm really not gonna show really much on how to do it. It's just because I still gotta learn how to do it myself. So this is basically showing our before section of the car before we start. Let's get rolling. Okay, so far I separated the back of the car with the motor in one piece. And gotta continue working on it. So we come over here, here's the motor. All out of the car with the bottom plate, one shot. And now let's just keep on working. Next thing you gotta get these out over here. So you gotta take a, have a puller, right? It's used for a car battery. And you gotta ratchet it out to get it to go. Once you get it out, loosen it up a little bit. Go off camera and just give it a little bang. And I take it and uh, bang it across over here. So hopefully that should uh, that should take it out. Let's try that. See right here in the middle. Push it back. Got to hit it a few more times. You gotta take it, you gotta bang this out, hit it over here, and get this out of the way. Then it have to heat nothing. Try to get this done. And this is the part I'm putting in that I gotta completely take apart. You see how this works out. So I got braces for the bottom wing if I want, a couple of holes over here. I'll figure out what I gotta do for the cage if not the cage come off. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, to get this set up, you know. So later on, I'll show you some shots of it getting done. Okay, everybody, <clears throat> this is the next thing we've done. This has to, it's already been marked. You see the lines there, right? And it has to be cut in order to make it work on the Baja. So we're gonna give it a quick cut. Now that it's all cut up, <clears throat> this is what we got. This is the original. <clears throat> These are the new parts. This is basically the chassis that we're using right now to go into the Baja. This is the old one. Still got to cut the four holes inside there. I got to cut slots, and then that's it. The major part of the cutting is done. Hope you like the chop job over here, everybody. Hope you love it. Bye. Hey guys, just to show quick, this part is gonna be quick. It's really hard to show. If you look over to the right side, I put the plugs in. I took them out of the old one, drilled them to the exact same size. I don't have the tool to put them back in. So I got beaten them with a hammer and then put them into the vise to squeeze them. I'm gonna just do one off camera, that way you'll see one inside because it's a little difficult to do, to do that way. This is how I get it started, by putting it in the vest. What I'll do is I'll take it, I'll turn it, and turn and turn it. And once I'm done, and this goes to the back, then it comes out like that. I drill the hole over here, then the plug, you just tap it to get it started, even if it's a little crooked, but once you put it in here, and you squeeze it, it goes back on. Let me get this one on. Okay, guys, after beating it with a hammer, hitting the back of this, it's very noisy when you hit this. So once you take this out, no tool required besides a vise. See? And it's in at the right depth. Right there. 
just like the original ones. Nice and flat. And nice and flat. So there you go. If you want to do a custom chassis, you just got to work hard at it until you get it done. I'm just going to put the other one in. That part's going to be done and then I got to drill the other holes. Okay, and here's the lower plate basically done before I paint it. I guess I'm going to paint it with the bottom skid plate because that's why I want to do with the skid plate. You know, just protect the tranny screws and everything inside there. It's an even space between here and the other side pretty much. It's going to just wiggle a little bit, but uh, that's pretty good. Everything in there. Just like the factory one set up, slid up forward. And my caps. Caps put in, and everything's fine. There you go. I'm tired. Oh well, there's more to go, more to go. Okay, everybody, this is what I have so far. Painted the tubes, painted the deck. The two sides are going to stay silver. I got the shield with the clips and the holes. Just like a regular Baja. You know, I like the bottom place. There's no screws full out of the transmission. Paint came out pretty good. This little piece is another cut part that goes in the back so I could get the cage, hopefully on the car, to hook it up. And I would have to make a back bracket. Once I start getting together, it goes in this area to hold that block in. Which I probably got to either make something or use the old block that's there. So I want to keep it clean, so I'm going to see if I can figure something that looks pretty decent. But anyway, this is what I got so far. I'm very happy with it. Hope everybody is happy with it also. Thanks. Okay, here's where we're at now. It's set up like in the other video previous. You know, with the bottom part in there. All nice and neat in the back. The Baja have to wait for the rear axle I have the hubs already all set to go and all I gotta do is uh, put the motor motor back in finish reinstalling the, the rear get that all together and do saw a couple little modifications and that's about it so as I get further in the project I'll let you know but this is what I'm at so far completely restored and just about ready to go so I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and this part of this build. Thank you. Okay, this is where we're at now. Had to put spaces in here to make it up, which we just find will keep it from breaking or bending. Because it's all large over here. So that should be fine in the back. And just going to try to finish the car up. And maybe the next picture I'll do is probably when the car is done. But this is basically the work of the car. So I just gotta keep pressing on. Okay guys, here's where we're at now. Of course the front's done, I gotta put the tank in, the cage, the motor's almost in, but now I gotta work on the rear end. The rear end did come in, I'll do an unboxing on that if I can. But this is what we got so far. Coming around pretty good is where the HPI cage is gonna meet the car. I test fitted the cage already. The cage is just fine. I have to do a little more work on the two speed. There's a screw on the other side I gotta work with. The tubes are there, I just gotta do the rear end. Pull the whole bottom plate out of the car, install everything in the back, lock tight, A to Z, and then continue. Then basically it will be done. Uh, coming up here, I just gotta put the tank in because I have to take it out to reach the screws back there. Other than that, that's it so far. And here we go, balloon. Okay, so uh, let's see how far we get with this tonight. I'm trying to get the whole thing done. This is the way I did the setup for the back. I'm gonna put those two bars on top. They gotta get bolted in. Made it up the rear of the old chassis, the little end that goes there to make the bars, the bars on the bottom so they reach. Okay? So uh, we're just gonna keep cracking at this. Okay everybody, I kind of pre-cut this already. Uh, for this for the back half of the car. I wanna say a special thanks to Buddy from IRP Racing. I've known him for an extremely amount of years. Was able to do everything I wanted right. Gave me a very nice price on his part. And another special thanks to Angel. Angel's been a very good supporter. He's been helping me with the car. 
you know, and doing what he can. And uh, if he didn't come up with uh, his um, ideas for the car and what he thinks the car should be, he could, he put into it his time and effort and was able to help me get the parts needed in order to get this going. So I already pre-cut it so we get to see it together. All right, so this is how I cut it. You know, first I cut it up like that. Let's see what we got. The uh, garbage bag, oh, garbage. More garbage, there you go. Nothing over there. Here we have the, the bearing sets inside over here in this little bag. This I'll, I'll put aside. Those are the bearings that I need for this, and the other bearings. So, actually, got some good quality stuff to do that. Paper, 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 garbage bags, garbage bags. Okay, here's what I ordered. I know I love having my solid, my uh, I'm still using my uh, car with uh, shocks and everything, but I kind of figured let's try to go about the other route. If you're wondering where the hubs are, I have I have the hubs already. For the car, and that's the end. Nothing in here. Empty. Okay, this is from my uh, IRP from Buddy. And that's the bar that we have over here. Bit heavy, but hey, we're gonna we're gonna give it a try and see how this works out. And I got my uh, my locker, and all I gotta do is set it up inside the car and see how everything goes. So uh, hopefully, next video will probably just show it almost while put together. It's slipping; I never really done one. And I gotta put bearings here, bearings there, and just get this all done the correct way. So I just have to bear with me and uh, do a little more work on it, and at least get the rear end take apart. The back of the car, drop the floor back out so I can work it from the bottom up. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. We're going to be doing more. Okay, guys, this is the full build. It's done. The rest of could be doing on camera has so many problems doing it because I had to learn along the way. Now, first thing, I got the full cage all the way to the back. Tack is installed up over here. Pipe and everything. Everybody remembers when the car had uh, springs. Now it has uh, the primal rear. Shed a little light on it so you can see. That's how it's set up. Added another piece on the bottom. I'm going to get the cage to swing. Car came out pretty good. Painted the tubes. Brakes in. Two real brakes is on the rear to hold it. The other side of it. Brakes work fine now. Everything's just about good to go. Took a long time trying to get this started. Still about a week on it to do it. So I hope you like uh, you guys like the build. On the car, just going with the uh, primal rear, made everything fit on it, just like everybody else does, but I did the, the full cage complete, end to end, just like the sportsman class is supposed to be. If anything, thanks a lot for you watching this video, and have a good night.